the sunrise. Gravity, by visionary director Alfonso Cuaron, has made its debut at the Venice International Film Festival to an outpouring of universal acclaim. It's a sci-fi thriller set in space, but it doesn't rely on aliens or futuristic spaceships to deliver its thrills. Instead, the film's two main characters, played by Sandra Bullock and George Clooney, are modern-day astronauts on a spacewalk when everything goes terribly wrong. A nearby Russian satellite has self-destructed, sending thousands of pieces of deadly debris toward the helpless crew of the International Space Station. The key to the believability of the story is the believability of the visuals, which are stunning. Cuaron's previous offering was the epic dystopia Children of Men, a cinematic masterpiece that featured several lengthy single-shot sequences in which there are no camera cuts for minutes, despite the scene navigating through complex action. Building on that achievement, Cuaron and his team begin Gravity with a staggering 13-minute intricately choreographed sequence that plunges the audience headfirst into the dark, silent abyss that is space. Part of the film's brilliance, according to Justin Chang in his review for Variety, is how the camera movement and effects serve to make you feel weightless, out of breath, and terrified right alongside the characters. According to Chang, the film restores a sense of wonder, terror, and possibility to the big screen that should inspire awe among critics and audiences worldwide. But the film also serves to inform on a potential catastrophe that could paralyze man's effort to explore space, as it's based on Kessler Syndrome, a scenario in which there are so many objects orbiting the Earth that one collision could cause a cascading chain reaction, each collision generating space debris, which increases the likelihood of further collisions. One implication is that the distribution of debris in orbit could render space exploration and even the use of satellites infeasible for many generations. The space object currently believed to be the likeliest to trigger the Kessler Syndrome is NVSAT, which was the largest civilian satellite ever launched. Now offline, it's in an orbital path where two objects each pass within about 200 meters of it each year. One of the solutions to this problem is a powerful land-based laser that could theoretically knock debris off a collision course. While we'll probably have to wait years to know the solution to the Kessler Syndrome, we'll only need to wait another month to see if gravity lives up to the hype. Its wide release is on October 4th.